The internet was built without privacy because it was created in a trusted academic environment by universities uh, with government funding. The second generation internet believed its business model was surveillance. That's what Facebook does, that's what Google does, that's the primary business model of the internet. They essentially surveil you in order to market advertisements to you. You're, you're able to take this data and you're able to mine it and you're able to run it through these machine learning algorithms and based on your music listening habits, you can determine very accurately what your ethnicity is, how old you are, uh, your sexual orientation, your gender identity. Just by looking at who they talk to, at what time, for how long, you can guess who's their lover, who's their buddy, what activities they do, what hobbies they have, what they are afraid of, whether they are cheating. All of these things can become visible if you have enough metadata. What Edward Snowden revealed is that the Western governments, particularly the United States, the Five Eyes Alliance, was engaged in acts of mass surveillance, targeting political dissidents, targeting other governments, and that they were essentially using this massive centralization of data and surveillance in companies like Google and Microsoft and Amazon in order to kind of build up their own surveillance capacities. And this combined is an incredibly dangerous situation, particularly when now more than ever, social change, radical social change, is desperately needed. E even using existing tools, people are being identified as being dangerous based on their internet habits. And NIM is the first software that really provides people the ability to resist the surveillance. Our belief is that eventually the future of the internet uh, should become private by default.